Hi, I'm Jessica Miter, and this is Introduction to Jazz Vocal Singing. Today what I want to do is give you an understanding, a little understanding about jazz. For me, learning jazz has taken a very long time. I started learning it probably 13 years ago just by listening to it for the first time. It was so new to me that I didn't understand it. And a lot of people don't understand jazz when they first listen to it. So I encourage you not to be turned off by jazz when you first hear it, but to keep your mind open because there's a lot to be learned from jazz. Jazz is a very freestyle kind of music. There's a thing called a jazz standard and a jazz standard, we call them standards, are the songs that continually get sung over and over and over again. Now why would you want to do that? To continue to sing the same song over and over again? Well, in jazz, the idea is to interpret it your way. So the style becomes your own, the message becomes your own and the improvisation or the soloing is also part of this new melody that comes out of you and the conversations that you want to have with the music and the audience between you. Jazz is its independence in music. So. What I'd like to talk to you about today are jazz standards and what they are. <clears throat> jazz standards basically started out with songs that were written for musicals. For example, we have a song called Night and Day. And Night and Day was written for a musical. And the way that it's sung in the musical is very straightforward. It's night and day. You are the one, only you beneath the moon and under the sun. Whether near to me or far, it's no matter, darling, where you are, I think of you night and day. And when they play the music for it, the instrumentation had a lot of strings and orchestra, like a classical orchestra that followed along. Jazz took that song and they took a, a band, a very small band sometimes, maybe just a piano player. You can have bass, guitar, vocals, and horns. And it would be this combination of people and they would play the melody of the song and then they would play the chords of the song while someone would improvise over top of the chords. Now, improvisation is very difficult to do in the beginning, especially for a vocalist and an instrumentalist. For an instrumentalist, they have to learn all of these scales and they have to understand all of the music that they're playing so that they can improvise over the chords that, that are on the music. For a vocalist, they really have to use their ears and they have to understand phrasing. So, you have to listen to a lot of jazz if you want to be a jazz vocalist. It's not the same as popular music or, or just singing a song. You actually need to listen to instrumental jazz just as much as you need to listen to vocal jazz. So, in, in a jazz song, generally speaking, and this is not the rule, you start out with the melody of the song and they call that the head. Then they play the chords of the head, which is the main, you know, which is the song, but they improvise over it. Each person taking two or three turns over the head. And then at the end, we all go back to the beginning and we play the head one more time and then end the song. So generally speaking, jazz is comprised of singing the melody soloing amongst the musicians there and then singing the melody again. 
With vocal jazz, you have the option of either soloing or not soloing, depending on how comfortable you are. Soloing is not easy, and it takes a long time to get the hang of it. But if you practice it, I guarantee you that you'll enjoy it.